check this out. This is, this is progress. This is not week to week, barely any motion, barely any improvement. This is, I think this is actually almost done. I think I can finish this today. Uh, this is the second portion of World th Six. World Six. Uh, I've been working on the top portion of World Six for the longest time, probably since September. I don't know, something like that. And I just started the bottom portion of World Six maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit more. And I think it's almost done. I'm just I'm so happy that. There, there wasn't a lot of, you know, let me try modeling this. Let me, let me try adding this little thing here. And oops, no, that's actually not good. Let me delete the last hour of my work. You know, this just all kind of worked out. I will say that the texture work needs to be, there needs to be changed a little bit. Some of the stuff over here, and you can see like the different colors and purple. Um, it doesn't look as natural as I'd like it to. So some of that will have to change. But the level of overall, I think, I think this is pretty good. Jigsaw Detective, welcome. Uh, please let me know if the music is too loud. Because it sounds kind of loud in my, my ear holes, but... Uh... Yeah. So, yeah, this is... This is the level. I tr I'm trying to remember what I where I stopped last time. I believe I made this underground area, and I just started putting these vegetables down, and and I put more down. So um, there's a couple laying around here. Uh, those are just the default ones. Mm, some of these can be used to uh, have like a little shortcut to jump up here to get up here quicker. There's this one where I could put a few notes here or something. Uh, da, 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 da. Over here, these will be used for some platforming. It's some simple stuff. Uh, because you have to remember that this water here, this will be you know, ice frozen water. I'll be using the Freezy Peak ice water here. I'll change it to make it seem like it's hot or something. But it'll be it'll be dangerous to to the touch unless you're a walrus and that's actually what I'll be working on today I'm going to make a little hole here and that's going to lead up here somewhere and it's gonna be a whole thing again <laughs> yeah so to do that I have I have the actual was this cave right here I actually prepared beforehand and got the hole ready uh, the reason is that I need to be able to to say, hey, it's this is how big it is. I don't want to mess with the sizes on my own. So let me make that its own thing. Now I can copy that over myself. Let me make sure this is only one texture too. And that. Hmm. And at the end of the stream, I might, I'm thinking of, so I have this uh, Mario Party custom board concept that I came up with last week. Um, I want to talk a little bit about that and maybe try some modeling, see if I can do something on stream for that a little bit. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so just something to be aware of, I guess. That is actually a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. can probably fit in there actually or maybe not or probably probably can 
But because he can't swim underwater, I, I don't I don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'll I'll show that off later. Okay, let's hide that. Uh Alt H, okay. I still haven't wiped my computer, so it's still running really slow every time I do Control Z, and it's it's it is as annoying as ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this side smaller? Somehow? It might be. Okay. Uh, the start, let's do... What is it called? What are these called? Lower. Alright. Let's go with lower... Five. Just so that there's something. Well, actually, that looks great. I am kind of happy that I took this. <laughs> but it can't stay, actually. It, it needs to... It, the path has to go up, and I need to stretch it out, because there's, the, there's a ton of polygons here, and this cave is going to be a lot longer. Out of necessity. I don't really want it to be, but it just kind of has to. Oh, Chris, hi, welcome. <laughs> Oh, you're going to be waiting a long time. I used to, in my streams, I used to uh, actually go at the end of the stream. I would test out the level that I made and kind of show off how it works in game. I've uh, I've stopped doing that uh, just because I like to archive all my all my content uh, so it's available for people to look later on, especially when everything's done. But. You know, I, I don't, there's nothing, there's really nothing illegal about like making a ROM hack, really. Um, it's your more, you're treading more legal issues when you make your own fan game and use the properties of uh, another company. But with mods, it's more so you made a patch for something that already exists. So it's not as bad. But to be on the safe side, I kind of just don't want to. I would prefer to just not show that kind of stuff off anymore and just keep it, keep it to my my 3D modeling. Because nothing that I'm doing here is illegal. I'm creating 3D models. Uh, it's it's all fine. And, but but to be just extra extra sure and careful. Screen keys emoji. Oh, always looking out. Thank you. Seriously, always looking out. Uh, that was when... So, Chris, when we played Smash Brothers, that was a lot of fun. I want to do that again. <laughs> that has to happen more. This is gonna get a little, a little messy. Let's see. Let's cut it here. You're playing on Friday? Uh, shoot, uh, what time? I think you're Pacific time. You know what? I'll go ahead and let this pop out like that. I think that's fine. Seven seven p.m. Pacific time. That would be eight o'clock for me. Wait, hold on. It, has it been daylight savings time yet? You, you, daylight savings times is the worst for Arizona. People in Arizona suffer the most. Everyone complains on daylight savings times. Just on daylight savings time. That's the only time they complain. I have to complain for weeks after. I have to explain this every time. But because we don't change our clocks. I then have to adjust my schedule to fit everybody else. 
So for example, if I have something scheduled, and actually I do have things that are kind of due at the same time every week. Well, now I have to adjust mentally every single week. Instead of having it ready by four o'clock, I'm gonna have to have it ready either by three or by five. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, I don't know who else in the world doesn't observe daylight savings time, but yeah, in the US, I know Arizona doesn't do it. And there might be somebody else. But it's super annoying. Let's find out when daylight saving. This is very, very important. Uh, looks like it's on Sunday, March 14th. So I knew it was coming up. So, okay. So to understand, Curse's stream, 7 p.m. Pacific time. That means for me, it's going to be 8 o'clock. If he were to play on March 18th, which is after daylight savings time, then his 7 p.m. stream is actually my 7 p.m. as well. Because because we go back to Pacific time. Right now we're Mountain time, and we're gonna go back to Pacific time. <sighs> so annoying. Phoenix is pretty awesome. <laughs> Phoenix is pretty awesome, but it's not necessarily pretty. The way I originally thought you were writing that. Why do you say that? Did you? I think you said you went there once. I wonder if I'm mistaken. I might be mistaken. Cacti, they're, they're pretty cool. I do see them all the time, but yeah, they're they uh they are they are pointy. And they exist. I feel about this little hole thing I made here. Um, let's subdivide this as well. Yeah, that's a better idea. Okay. Ooh. Let's uh, subdivide up here as well. You went to see the Diamondbacks and chilled out with online friends. Really? How long ago? Yeah, even though I feel like you've told me this already. So my bad memory is uh, it's having a moment again. Let's see how this looks. Two years ago. The Coffee Kolsch. I don't know what that is. That better not be some hip thing that I don't know about. Oh, weird. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this, actually. Good, it retains the UV mapping. Hallelujah. I look most beers I'm I'm like I'm down tastes great but any if it tastes like coffee that's what that's when I say nah I draw the line at coffee beer which is actually a lot like even if it has like just a slight that slight taste or even smell I'm kind of just like uh, maybe not actually Hold on, Coffee Kolsch. Do I know where this is? Is that a is that a, is that a place or is it or is that the actual beer? Oh shoot, from uh, Hus Brewing. Okay. Huh. 
Huh, I've actually, I've never gone there before. Looking at it now, yeah, never been there. Oh, put on the list of things to do when, when it's time. again oh I probably oh, okay whatever I'll deal with that later I think I've said this here before, but uh, the New Leaf soundtrack, I think, is better than New Horizons. Like, every track in, in that game, New Leaf, not only sounded great, but felt so appropriate. Like, 7 p.m., it made total sense. The late night hours, every single one just felt correct. <laughs> Like, it just made sense to play this one after this one. It's getting later. Things are calming down. It just all worked. Oh. There we go. Geometry's well, it's funky. It's a funky one. Could try to pop it out a little bit. I heard it. Is that is that the one that does? There's one of them that does that. Okay, let's dissolve this for now. Now this part, this is the part that's going to be a little trickier to do. Because I need it to go like way up here somewhere. I think. Ah, oh, what sucks is I, I would have much preferred for this to be on this wall where nothing's happening. Where this wall, well, there's something happening. But this place looks a little crowded. I'm not going to have this path go all the way around. That would take forever. I'm going to have to look it up. New leaf. Oh, hey, yeah, that Sakurai Presents thing is tomorrow. That would be 7 o'clock for me. Yeah, I'm not waking up for that. But I will be there to look at it after. New leaf, 3 a.m. If this was a reveal trailer, I would probably wake up, but a presentation. Yeah. Oh, New Horizons. Okay. Well, I actually still want to hear what New, New Leaf sounds like 3 a.m.
Oh yeah, I remember this. New Horizons 3 a.m. And I should know this because I've definitely turned it on at 3 a.m. before. Oh yeah, this one's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm skipping ahead. Hi, Sather. Yeah, uh, that's like the jazzy one, the 5 p.m. New Horizons, I think. Okay, let's check out 3 a.m. Oh, this one. I, I, actually, I like this one. This one makes me feel more guilty about being up. It's like, like, are you serious? What do you... Everyone, all the animals already went to bed, or most of them, the ones that have any common sense. What are you doing? It's just like this, like, ah. <laughs> this one makes me feel uh, like I should go to bed. Well, let's see what 5 a.m. sounds like, which I have unfortunately also heard. <laughs> this one's this one's good because this is like this is the first one where you might actually be waking up, but you woke up super early. But it is embarrassing if it if you didn't wake up. You're just you still haven't gone to bed. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna. Hold on. Let's do seven a.m. really quick because I don't hear them too often. <laughs> oh, I never hear this. When will you ever catch me? My body is not awake at 7 a.m. It just doesn't happen. When I hear think I hear this, I think of the uh, the trailer music. <laughs> it's the only time I, I heard this. Uh, also, Chris, I did see that you said you're writing a guide for for Pyro and Mithra, I think. Um, which I don't know if you've played the Xenoblade Chronicle games, but uh, if you have any questions, I will be here to answer them. You probably don't need to ask any questions, but just for clarification. Hmm. Kanashi, welcome. Uh, me and Kanashi are now good friends on Pokemon Go. Or great friends. I don't know what they say, but... We've been send sending each other gifts. Uh, really quick, before I get back to this, I'm going to check out ADM. I never hear this. I never hear this song. Oh. I, well, I wasn't keeping track, but I think today it like popped up. It's like, you guys are now great friends or whatever. <laughs> you trying to get that sweet XP? Are you going to do the lucky egg thing when I'm not paying attention? <laughs> okay, so 9 a.m. I've definitely heard. Uh, okay, 9 a.m. I'm, I've played at 9 a.m. before. It is actually a shame, and what is that? Is that Turok? Okay, we're gonna go back to this. Is this a Animal Crossing still? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's grab all these again. Alright. So. Should we switch this to a, a Animal Crossing? Uh, let's see what I can find. Every Animal Crossing hour... We'll just go through the whole list. We probably won't have time, but. And I'll skip over the ones I don't like. How about that? Hold on, I wanna to listen to this remix though. It's nice. What is it though? 
sounds very familiar. Okay, we're gonna just twist it slightly to the right. I, I do think I want it to go out this way, somewhere. Uh, or... No, we're gonna make it go to the right. I can make a decision. Oh, sure. See you soon or see you next time, Kanashi. <laughs> All right. So it's called Secret of the Forest and it's by Jokabi. Back already, dang. Okay, uh, let's remove this. Okay, this will have to go up a little bit. And twist it a little, ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's kind of annoying. This is kind of bad, but Empoleon? I think that's the name. It's my boy Empoleon. I'm not sure what I think about the Pokemon remakes so far, because I've been just fluctuating on what I think. I was excited, then I was kind of like, huh? And then excited again, but then kind of concerned when I learned a few more details about it. That actually reminds me. Oh, hey, check this out. Check this out. Well, I actually have nothing to show, but uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be a guest on the Nintendo Shack podcast uh, from the PSVG network, and that's going to be a live stream. So if you are free at, I think it's 7 p.m. my time, so 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time, I will be I'll be live with few other people talking about probably Pokemon uh, probably bravely default 2 I'm guessing actually I'm not totally sure what we're gonna talk about but it is a Nintendo podcast and it's gonna be Nintendo so there you go how long is it uh, their podcasts they do go over an hour typically so I assume more than one hour uh, but I do not expect it to be more than two no uh, where? So, let me, let me get a, a link. Unless it gets canceled or something, then it won't, it won't happen. But so far, it should still be able to be there. Okay, that would be right here. Yeah, it's gonna be good stuff, good stuff. But probably main topic Pokemon. So I really have to, I have to actually sit down and think like, what do I actually think? Cause I have a lot of stray thoughts and and what have you. I need to, I need to get it together. Oh gosh, where are you getting these emojis from? Yeah. I really need to figure out like the subscription buttons and all that. Because uh, I'm realizing now that you can actually, like someone can use the little, the eggs, the points, whatever, channel points, and unlock one of the, the emotes. Like that's, that's a cool feature and I don't have that implemented. So, sorry, gotta get on that.
You know what I'm gonna do? Look here. This is also taking me way too long. I gotta pick up the pace here. Ooh, hydrate, yeah! Oh, since I'm okay, I think we're just gonna go through a bunch of like updates on me and my life and all that because I have two more things to say. Uh, number one, let me change it to this so you have something something nice to look at. Uh, number one, check this out. I don't think I told anyone that I was doing this, but this week and it, again, this is. Well, I'm not again, I haven't said anything, but this is super early, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to go into this, but I am trying to teach myself some Japanese. Uh, this is my practice sheet for hiragana, the vowels, and I've been learning how to write them, and I've been, I actually haven't been doing that much studying in terms of like memorizing the alphabet or the characters, I should say. It's been more about understanding how the Japanese language actually works. They have like three different, uh, I don't know what you would call them, but it's three different types of writing that's all combined together and used. Uh, there's this hiragana, there, there's katagana, and then there's kanji, and then like you use hiragana for hiragana because all the vowels sound the same. Zamikun, I know. <laughs> I know. Thirteen Sentinels did not inspire me to do this, by the way. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, but the hiragana is used for like just imagine you're just traditional Japanese writing, and then katakana is used for foreign letters and words that have come from other countries uh, typically western countries uh, they have a different subset of alphabet used specifically for that and then on top of that you also have kanji which are like you look at one of these like this is a this is O. that's O, yeah and it looks it's not that complicated but it looks a little you know extravagant the kanji are like that times three and those like describe specific things like folder would be one kanji um at least that's my understanding i could be all wrong on everything i just said but anyway that's the exciting thing that's going on uh um, that's going on for me oh romaji and that's that's whole di that, i actually saw that too but it was kind of like recommended for me not to really look at that. I think that involves uh, numerals and well, numerals, Roman characters. Yeah. So Jigsaw Detective, what do you know about Japanese? Sounds like you, you got something there. Uh, ooh, I'm actually, I'm actually not done for updates. So the thing that I've been talking about in terms of some weird health things that have been going on with me, and I said, oh, I'll, I'll bring it up later. I'll talk about it later. I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't really want to share that kind of stuff on stream anymore. Uh, it's not... I don't want to say it's not that big of a deal because it, it, it is a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of saying that, saying something like that publicly and having it archived and the whole thing. What I can tell you is that not next week, but the week after I'm going to have a surgery on Wednesday, actually. So I will not be streaming then. And I, highly doubt I will stream the Friday after and then the week after I will just have to see how how I'm doing after that how I'm feeling so so that's kind of the important thing to bring up is that 
there will probably be a chunk, a week chunk where I don't stream or more or less, depending on how I feel. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So that's happening not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. So actually two weeks from today. And that's actually kind of terrifying that I just thought about that. Okay. Those are the, the main updates here. This kind of sucks, because I have to make this path really long just to get up there. Hmm. Nope, don't do that. Okay. Okay, I've been working on this for the last 30 years, so let's try to pick up the pace a little bit at least. the last minute of progress was more than the last 20 minutes of progress. <laughs> Through. It's going to be very long and probably annoying. You know what I could do? I could have a little side area up here, actually. I kind of like that idea. I'm going to do that. Ooh. Like a, a side area right here. Okay, I got ideas. So grab that, duplicate that, move that right over here. Cool. 
Oh, that doesn't line up exactly, but I'll make it work. Ish, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I could see why that doesn't... No, that's fine. That's actually just fine. where they need to go and that'll be fine does not have to be perfect by any means cool now we'll grab that idea what that is even there okay let's just ignore it This side I would like to be aligned with the wall-ish. Okay, and the reason for that is because I'm going to actually delete it here. Oh, wait, that's actually not how that works. I have to take the whole thing over here. Okay, I like that. Maybe a little bit higher. And already, uh, textured all this in the in the back so it'll be it'll be easy to fix that UV mapping go wait go Z go zero go TBC hi I am doing I'm doing just fine how are you oh I, uh, I messed that up let's go back I don't believe I've seen you on the stream before, and if I have, then it's been it's been a while. If this is your first time, welcome. I don't know if you know what I do, but I 3D model levels, particularly Banjo Kazooie levels, and then I I make them playable. It's a whole thing. It's a whole process. Fun stuff. What song are we listening to, by the way? It sounds familiar. First time, okay. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. It's very nice. Uh, I do this every single Wednesday. So next Wednesday, I'll be back. Probably not working on this level because I am almost done. But yeah, but I normally stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Wednesdays are dedicated to this exclusively from mother okay and the only reason i know is because it's there's a remix of it in smash yeah <laughs> that makes sense okay. maybe i don't know it perfectly but
it's blah, 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 blah. I think that was there already. That little mess up in the texture, a little bump. Uh, you are a speedrunner of the whole franchise. I was looking through Banjo Kazooie streams and found yours. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Because I've been, <laughs> I've been doing some tests to see if I can attract people's attention. And usually, my title of my stream is something like I'm world modeling. But this time I said I'm creating Banjo Kazooie levels. I, I just try to be more clear. So I think that. I think that helps. Yeah, this is my world six. I'm trying to replace every world in the original Banjo-Kazooie. And I'm currently working on world six. The other five before that are, they're like kind of done. Like I'm done modeling them, but the actual work on the levels is not done. Like the mechanics and making sure everything works correctly. Well, that's really cool. So you're a speedrunner. How, uh, I guess, what's your fastest time? I, I don't know the speedrunning world all that well. So I don't know what's what's normal and what's, what's not. I can tell you my, my, my fast time from Banjo-Kazooie. It's like six hours or something. Six and a half hours, maybe. What does that mean? A sub 220? I'm not sure what sub means, but okay, it's around two hours, 20 seconds. Dang! Uh, which tends to be the most popular category of the franchise. Doing 100% run, that category. That's really incredible. Are you... <clears throat> so I'm sure you're, you're using a lot of... Uh, that might not even be the case, but I'm assuming that you're using like glitches and you're phasing through stuff to get places faster. Wow, that's impressive to do it in two hours and 20 minutes. I could probably do Mumble Mountain in under 10 minutes. What would you say is the most important glitch? to know the book the biggest time saver Just about to. Okay, here we go. Okay. Furnace fun moves. Oh, furnace fun probably would take you forever. Uh, so moves. Somehow, if you game over one of the mini games that you played during the quiz at the end, you can transfer all your moves, learn into a brand new file. Wait, what? Is that allowed? Is that a, a legal thing for hundred percenting? Using a glitch from a different save file? I guess I never really gave that how much thought. So I guess that means there was a point where it was not allowed. Wow. Wow, that's actually kind of wild to to use a separate save file to make a new save file different in some way. That that just seems that seems like it shouldn't be allowed. I messed something up here, by the way. 
So this should be a thing. Well, that should be a thing, which now makes me think about this. This can't be here. Oh, what? I guess the skip for the quiz itself also saves around six to ten minutes since you skip that massive cutscene that happens at the end of the quiz. All the credits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't want. We don't want any part of that. Yeah, think about that. Uh, glitches in, in this, for example, my little project here. I'm not gonna care too much about that. I think if people want to discover those kinds of things, they can. If, if they do, then okay. If they, did, if they don't, that's fine too. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind, I don't think. I don't think. Oh, you speed run Grunty's Revenge as well, oh wow. What's your, uh, which one's your favorite as a video game, and then which one's your favorite to speedrun? And also, do you, do you stream yourself? Like, you stream it, or are you just kind of, well, I assume, like, I don't think people, I guess I never thought about that, people don't just stream themselves playing. Or speedrunning, I should say. Also, I changed my mind on how I want this room to work. I'm gonna bring the vent down just a little bit. Then we're deleting this. Feels so unnecessary. This is just a means to get up here. hiatus for the past six to eight months oh oh dang but um to the end of making a grunty's revenge any percent tas tas so is the stuff you did before not tool assisted then i plan on streaming it once the tas is done and perhaps returning to grinding the game i'm gonna okay so let me see this i am going to i'm gonna follow you now so that I, because I'm going to forget. I don't want to forget. I would like to see, I would like to see this. Oh, you've got, you've got archives right here. Cool. I'm going to take a look at this afterwards. And if I don't, then I need to be reminded. That's awesome. And I know that a lot of people stream, um, Speed run, they're like their speed runs. They do that. Uh, I guess I don't. I don't pay too much attention to it. But I don't know. You're talking about it now, and it's got me interested. So better, uh, better make use of that interest while I got it. Not to make it seem like speed running is no good. Just I personally kind of like. Oh.
Yeah, I think this could this could work, possibly, probably, hopefully. I think having this little section here is better than just having this super long tunnel. I, I, it's already very just massive and unnecessary. small here probably something like that Have you finished any ROM hacks? I have not. This is the only one I've ever worked on and I've been working on this for, uh, so I've been working on this for like six or seven years, but I started from not knowing anything in terms of modeling. So it's a lot of the old stuff, actually most of the old stuff, basically all of the old stuff is Kind of been thrown away because I've just I've gotten better and the old stuff just wasn't up to par anymore and yeah so every year I could I could link to it oh I can link to it you can actually see what what all this is about um, I put out a trailer for my ROM hack every single year and you can see year to year I just get better and better. Like the, the quality improves year over year. And so the stuff from trailer one, trailer two, trailer three, trailer four, and this was yearly. All of that's it's basically gone. Um, so this is the playlist. The first one is the most recent one, trailer nine. And then trailer one is the very first one I released in December 31st, 2013, which means I started in May 2013. So almost eight years wild yeah okay that's a that's a whole thing okay I'm not gonna model that yet or this actually what I will do pull one of these texture that and then I could remove it so the UV mapping is already done. I'm, I'm aware of this. This can't exist like that. It will for now. Yeah, big time. So, all that stuff, like trailer one, trailer two, trailer three, I don't think any of that has survived. Trailer four, probably most of it is gone. Probably the same for five. Hmm. I, I never had it, I don't think I've never had it described that way before. I gotta look again.
Which one is this? Hmm. Before, before I end streaming today, I want to go over. I want to go over my list of Xenoblade Chronicles Two music tracks that I think, maybe not that I think, but that I want to be included in Smash. Since we're we're gonna find out tomorrow what the tracks are. That game has a lot of good ones, so this is this will be good. This will be a good direct. Uh, okay, so this won't entirely work here because of this whole setup, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So we'll just start with this. Uh, what do I use, lower one? Six. What about here? We'll do lower one. Uh, interesting challenge when it comes to ROM hacking is to find the right balance between putting a lot of details in the level geometry and keeping the polygon count low so that the game runs smoothly. Very true. I when I do my stuff, I don't. I don't think about being playable on hardware. That's not a priority for me. For me, it's create something fun and just make sure it runs kind of just like an emulator like that that's where I'd like it to run correctly uh, I know the general limit for Banjo-Kazooie Banjo levels is pretty high for an N64 game it's about 5,000 5,000 faces I think and then I let's see if I remember how to check here I think this says that I have 3,000. I don't know if that's before or after triangulation. I think that might be try. So I'm I'm pushing it, I think. I think this is... Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see how much, I, how much more I can do. The only thing left I have to model is this pathway to a side section here. That's actually a lot. Oof. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Rusty, I think it's, yeah, I think Rusty Bucket Bay is the biggest one, because that's, I remember back in the day before, when, like, the boundary limits were a little bit different, or level size replacement was different, in Banjo's backpack, the editing tool, I think Rusty Bucket Bay was the one that you would use to, to make sure you could make your level fit. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna have to do. All right. Um, let's just keep this this size going. I'd like to keep it the same. And I can see that there's something wrong here. Uh, that this is not triangulated correctly, so I'll have to go in after I do the UV mapping and, uh, and fix that. Just find it easier to do this first. see a tiny tiny little discrepancy there but it that's fine what happens if I do this okay, I'm gonna do that so I can keep this active quad thing going yep one This one, I should have done it on this side because when people walk here, they'll see that first. They actually probably won't see much of this, so I kind of screwed that up. Might be able to fix this, maybe. All right, so that, that's good at least. Oh, let's save before disaster strikes. That's number one. pretty good let's just do one more that one's perfect and this actually looks like it lines up quite nicely let's see do I go more no maybe one more oh, I'm going too far that is almost perfect I think that's as good as it's gonna get okay cool that wraps around pretty nicely And then this, I could this is I can do on my own easily. Ah, but all of these are not correct. That's that's fine. This, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's see if I could do this. Go here. Now bring that. That's fixed. I guess I'll do the exact same thing here. And here, actually. Okay, things I was afraid of. Maybe I have to do it on the line. Uh, it's not working. Okay, that's... It's worrisome. Try to strain it out. Flat surface. Yup. I could do, uh, I guess I'll do this. I can subdivide this into many points. Seven. I can bring 
bring that one up and then dissolve the rest. All right, I'll, I'll just do that. Kind of a backwards way to do that, but sure. Cut those, perfect. Okay, that's done. Same thing right here. Nope, that didn't work. It worked here last time. Okay, good. <laughs> Great. I wonder why it doesn't work. What if I did it up here? Huh, that works. Okay, uh, that's easier to be. I don't care if this goes up a little bit. Because I'm gonna be be doing some stuff like like that anyway. Having the middle path go down a little. I think that's good. Although I didn't want to do that until I finished texturing, but uh, whatever. Nope, don't like that. First, rotate it, lower one, increase the size. Unwrap that. Oh, that's weird. What is this? No, 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 no. Something's messed up. What's the problem here? There's the problem. There. Delete that. Okay, good. Explains it. We gotta flip this. Cool. All right, good stuff. This will be easy to do. Just a quick bam. I don't like that it's upside down for some reason. Lower one. Make it bigger. See, I don't know if this fascinates anybody else, but <clears throat> being able to see this, like one day you'll be you'll be able to play this. That'll be cool and all, but being able to go back and see how it was made and see some of the thought process that went into it and and to also see the things that were removed, like beta stuff, like that stuff is so cool to me. So that's one of the main reasons why I like doing this in the first place. I have, I have my streams archived from the first time I did them. That was in 2016, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I was thinking about it and I, <laughs> at some point I might unlist, not remove, but unlist some of the the streams or most of the streams so that they exist but not everyone can just have access to them because some of them some of them just make me feel just they're so cringy at times like i'm by no means an expert at streaming but i don't know some of the old stuff is like oof There we go. 
I think this turned out to be to be nice. You know, this this blue color here is the same color from was his cave, and I kind of want to just keep it because I don't actually feel like <laughs> like texturing that all over again. Uh, it's so bad, but it's the truth. Okay, now I can focus on this. <clears throat> Let's uh, subdivide here and here. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. With just a flashy blue. What do you mean by flashy blue? Ah, I knew it was gonna mess with the texturing. That's fine, I can do this here. Such a flashy blue. That sounds correct. Uh-oh. Not a fan of these textures so far. Or uh, polygons. This is a little extra. Well, you know what I can do? Grab this. Grab this. Put them in there. Nobody said those have to be perfect. sword cool that's relevant there we go that that works oh that does not that does and then let's fix the texturing Saturated, I, like the color is so strong. Uh, yeah, I don't think like Gobi's Valley, no. Mad Monster, that's all very dark. Rusty Bucket Bay, kind of, that's more in line with the dark, kind of grayish. The Click Clock Wood hat doesn't have anything flashy like that, not even the winter area. The Swamp, no. Treasure, no. Clankers, no. Mumbo's, no. The the layer, I don't... Yeah, this is like a deep blue you're not going to find anywhere else. That is, that is very true. That's because the bottom part doesn't go there. Right, 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 right. Okay, let me fix this. Let me fix this. This is Wooly World? Oh, I don't, I don't know. That. I don't think it is. We can check. Maybe, if I have it unchanged. Uh, but that's a separate world or model. No, the tunnel's pretty. It's just kind of dark. No, I don't see any other deep blues. This is a little 
bluer than normal, but not not that deep blue we see over here. What's up here in the winter time? Those are cool colors. I like this. Look how simple this geometry was. Some of my stuff is a little too... It's a little too much, I think. Oh, this always scared me. This was so scary. I don't want to even look at that. Oh, okay. Smaller. I'm doing the same mistake as before. All right. Because the texture's wrong. There we go. You see, when I saw that little platform, I was thinking about the bee. So something else is up there. I think maybe a mumble token in spring. Mm, I don't know. Okay, I have to do the exact same thing over here. This looks easier though. So that's good. Delete this. I think I can just throw this up here, no problem. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Make sure to subdivide this. The jiggy that's up on the high platform is there in every season, but in summer or fall, there's no real way to reach it. Oh. I just, there's so many things I don't remember, which, which is bad, because it would actually help me here, most likely. What's worse is Banjo-Tooie I remember so little of. I've only played that one. I mean, I played it in... The first time I ever played it in 2000 or whatever it was. Dang, that was a long time ago. And then I played it... I remember playing it again, maybe around 2004? But then after that, I don't think I've ever touched it again. I mean, I've played around with it, but... Not, uh, not to actually sit down and play. So it's kind of scary, actually. I keep meaning to do that on this on this whole streaming thing, but I uh, haven't done it yet. do some uh, some vertex shading and I guess I'll just keep this really dark color here I mean why not this 
start with just the base color. Mixing it up from there. I don't want to accident accidentally grab some of these because I've done that already. It is, uh, it is noticeable. Somehow. Uh, da, da, da. I imagine it must be pretty hard to do the texturing of the ceiling since you must stay in the tunnel to see the ceiling. Uh, yeah, that's why I want to do the vertex shading now, so that once I have the tunnel up, or the ceiling up, I can... Like, I don't have to try messing around with this camera. But, in Blender, you can also do this. Something's highlighted, you press H, and it's it disappears. And then you click Alt-H to make it reappear. So I actually did that. So if you look at this level, I did that for the water actually water but I needed to get in there so I, I removed it which I guess I don't need to do it right now a lot of Animal Crossing music today So water is not something you directly add in Blender. It's it's just a flat plane. Once I put it into Banjo's backpack, I have to change the collision myself, which is annoying, but but it, it's it's just what you gotta do. Not the end of the world at all. Change this to that blue color too. Oof, what happened there? That coloring is off too. Um, okay, so I made it all dark. Now I'll get, I can start adjusting the colors a little bit. Whoops. Let's start with this because it's actually <laughs> bothering me a little bit. I'm just gonna make it lighter for some reason. making the corners dark like I usually do will go against this little dark path that the original game had, but whatever. It's actually a little, a little too dark, I think. This is gonna be all dark if I do it like that. Yeah, we can't have that. I can't do Control Z because my computer goes on on the fritz. Why 
Mario Galaxy, yeah. Good game. Uh, that's fine. Kind of light here, light on the edges. That's good. That's really dark, actually. That cannot be. And there's going to be like a platform here and the whole thing, but not yet. sections there. That's fine, actually. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see this. Maybe I can make this just a tad bit lighter. I made it darker. Okay, I think I'd like it a little bit lighter. I uh, remember that someone was making a because we ROM hack where they tried to recreate the Grunty's Revenge levels. It's been a long time since I've heard of that person that did it, and I wonder if they just gave up. So, no. That person did not give up. That person just kind of stopped for a while, and they've been talking about it again recently. Uh, we have a... So there's, there's my Discord, which I post somewhat updates on uh, and i have a link to that in this twitch page somewhere and then there's also the banjo's backpack discord and people post updates there on some of their projects um not all the time but every so often you'll get an update and uh, the person making that the grunty's revenge recreation is still around yeah so good news How do I want to do this ceiling? I don't want it to be anything fancy, so one there, one there. Yeah, of course. All right, that should be the ceiling-ish.
Don't like that. Let's drop that in there. Five will work here. Okay. Uh, so let's do this. And I don't. Hmm. I'll keep the blue on top. Because if I do a dark here, these walls will just go completely black. I don't really want that. Okay, and then it's going to get super dark. Maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe a little darker. I guess what I could do is just Yeah, I guess I could just do that. Yeah, we'll see how it looks. That is good. That's good. That's actually great. Um, except that wall. I think having these dark walls is fine. Except maybe not this one. Something needs to change here a little bit. this. Now this looks weird. No, control Z. Ah, I did control Z. Now it's going to take forever. Um, how hard is it to generate a temporary ROM to see how a level looks in, real, in the real game? Uh, if you don't run into any errors, not long. You basically import it. You have this. And using a specific uh, plugin, you export your object file with the vertex shading, import that into Banjo's backpack through the model importer, export that as a bin file, and then use that bin file to replace a level in Banjo's Banjo Kazooie using Banjo's backpack still. Um, then you export, you save that to the ROMs, uh, export it, and then you can you can test it out. And you have to you have to turn it on, then you have to switch it to 8 megabytes, and then turn it off and turn it back on, and then it'll work. It's annoying, but that is how it goes. And then you can test it and see how it looks. So it's not bad, but when you do it often, it, it can become a, an annoying process. Sadly.
I think that's better. Unless I do this. Yeah, that'll work a lot better, actually. Oh, it's just like that one. Cool. That works. Yeah, once you get in the groove, you can do it pretty quickly, but it's still a little time consuming. Especially if you're repeating, you're doing it over and over again. Uh, wow, that's all I did in two hours is this, which I copied from Waza's cave, and then just modified. And then this little area. Yikes. So the goal here is that there's going when you have the, uh, the walrus transformation, you'll be able to go under the water, enter through here. Oh, let me let me do the text, the vertex shading here too. Might as well. Having it a little bit lighter is good, so that you can see that it's, so that you can see that there is actually a hole there. Hmm, I guess I need to extend this too. I'll fix the texture on it later. Didn't even think about that. Okay, I think I'm gonna be wrapping it up here soon. Did I just forget to do this? Because that looks really not done. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Then I'll probably do this on my own. It's going to be a series of paths for the walrus to get onto this side. And then there'll be a hole here with a jiggy behind it. So it's like a little platforming thing before the walrus. So I'll do that later. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, 
thank you all for watching uh go go tbc thank you for the follow hope you enjoyed this i uh, hope to see you again that whole uh, thing i will be back on friday to do something that i'm blanking on i knew exactly what i wanted to to play on friday and i totally forgot what it is I'm streaming something on friday that's number one so <laughs> that, that'll be a thing uh then more 13 sentinels on monday and then back to this on next wednesday so thank you all again for watching have a great rest of your day or night and see you later <laughs>